Well, more of our team coverage. As you know, Indiana is a big part of a group of states working with Andy Bashir on the timing of reopening. Indiana reporting 42 more coronavirus cases since yesterday. 612 new cases that's released this afternoon. They've tested nearly 55,000 people in Indiana. Abby Lutz is in southern Indiana talking to health care workers, business owners and local government leaders. Governor Holcomb hasn't given an exact date, but has said he wants to start opening up Indiana's economy by early May. Whether or not that becomes a reality depends on the number of cases. Guidelines for reopening include a downward trajectory in positive coronavirus cases over two weeks, something Clark County Health Officer Eric Yazel says he agrees with. You know, I think that's something that, you know, we can be relatively confident that we're past the curve. Yazel says as the state gets more efficient with testing, it's important to watch the percentage of positive cases rather than the total number of cases. In southern Indiana in general, it's somewhere between about 18 and 22 percent. And if that goes down to 10 or 15 percent, then I think it's time to look at loosening some restrictions. And loosening restrictions would help out local struggling businesses. They're trying to understand what to do today, not knowing what tomorrow's policies or to next week's conditions are going to bring for them. So for Wendy Dant Chesser with One Southern Indiana, if it can happen in early May safely, I'm all for it. Keyword safely, something Representative Ed Clear agrees with. However we approach reopening, uh, it has to be based on on evidence. It has to be based on medical evidence and research evidence. Because reopening too soon, health officials say, could have consequences. If we do that too soon, then all these sacrifices we've made over, you know, the last six weeks or, or whatnot, um, we're for nothing. Health officer Eric Yazel has said he's feeling more optimistic today than he was a month ago. I'm in southern Indiana, Abby Lutz, WHAS 11 News.